Well, it's the middle of the night and the flame scanner has just went out. You go onto your part shelf and you don't have a spare. Now that can cost you time and it can cost you money. Today we're gonna to be talking to Brian Grandstaff, parts manager at Ware and BoilerWarehouse.com about all the commercial boiler spare parts that you should have in your boiler room. Welcome to the Boiling Point. We're the Brian Grandstaff, parts manager here at Ware. Now, we've got a bunch of parts here, and uh, yes, we do have BoilerWarehouse.com, but the thing about the Boiling Point is we like to bring things to the uh, viewers for parts or uh, tips of the trade or what have you. So we thought we'd kind of go through what type of spare parts would you need in a commercial boiler room? So yep. maybe, Brian, you go ahead and start and just take us down the list of things that maybe they need to look in their boiler room and say, you know, do I have these parts? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what we've got pictured here is just a list of uh, common spare parts that you'd see in a, uh, a light commercial or commercial boiler room. Okay. Uh, when you get to industrial process or, or heavier process, you, you may be looking at a bigger spare parts list than what's pictured here. But these are some common items that you'd see in, in almost any boiler room that that we do business with mm -hmm. um, starting on this side over here I mean we've got uh, you know some ignition components you know usually uh, you know some of the failure points and burners and things like that or uh, your igniters and flame rods things that get sooted up pretty regularly so it's always a good idea to have those types of components you know where you can do a quick change out on those kind of things um, have the wire, the ignition wire for it, mm. and then maybe even an ignition transformer. Uh, sometimes they go bad and it's not your igniter, but it's good to have something like that here on the shelf too. Sure, So sure, okay. One thing you may have uh, for your flame safeguard, here's a common Honeywell flame safeguard. You may have a spare controller for that. You may have sp spare purge timers or spare amplifiers. Um, scanners are a component point of failure that that you may uh, want to replace when, when you have that or actually have that ready for uh, if, you, if you're troubleshooting any kind of flame failure type things. Mm -hmm. Easy to swap out, easy to see, okay, is that the problem? Uh, solves, solves a lot of problems when, when you're dealing with those uh, flame failures um, pretty quickly without having to do a lot of troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll cover your flame safeguard stuff. Um, of course, your gaskets. I mean, you're always going to be opening your boiler up, uh, whether that's inspection or cleaning. Uh, you know, you may even see a leak at some point, mm -hmm. so you want to check it out. You want to open it up, close it back up. You need to have a healthy supply of gaskets in any, any given time. Probably should keep a full gasket kit as a spare, but then yes. maybe have some individual handhold yeah. gaskets, things like that that might start. Yeah, that way you can pop a handhole out. Mm. You're, you're not worried about breaking up a gasket kit or worrying, you know, whether you have to order a whole new gasket kit. You have some spares there where you can just pop it up and take a look at it, see what's going on, put it back together, and you still have a gasket kit for, you know, when you do your open and close, that sure. kind of thing. Sure, sure. Um, okay. So, yeah, gaskets are definitely one you want to have a healthy supply of. Um, when it goes down to your pressure controls, you know, if you're running steam or hot water, whether that's an Aquastat or a Honeywell pressure control or maybe even an Ashcroft, you know, the Ashcroft stuff is long lead time. A lot of people don't stock that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's always a good idea to have a couple of those there because you could really get in a pinch if you don't have those, those type of components. Right. Um, right. So from that and then your other pressure components like uh, your gas pressure switches, your air pressure switches, um, those are, you know, really cheap items to have on hand. They're not very expensive, mm -hmm. but they can save you, you know, several hundred dollars in service calls and things like that, that it's nice to have on sure. hand. Sure. So, sure. Um, so those are a couple of cheap things that you can do. Okay. Um, you know, you've got your sight glass, um, your uh, uh, red line sight glass with your gaskets for that. And then mm -hmm. next to that, you've got a reflex or a flat gauge uh, usually for higher pressure boilers, okay. you know, those are failure items. You right. want to make sure you have quick change out spares for those types of things. Okay. Um, and then when it comes to just, you know, your standard mod motors, you know, mm -hmm. any, they use these mod motors on everything from firing rate to, uh, 
even controlling dampers, air dampers, things like that. So, you know, this is a very common item that you may have two or three of in your boiler room. So right. it's good to have at good least have one at least spare one. for that. Sure, yeah. sure. Yep. Um, over these? Uh, boiler tricocks. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing. You know, uh, you, you should be maintaining your uh, water level and blowing those down regularly. You know, sometimes these things leak or, you know, they get crudded up. So it's always nice to have a couple of these on spare too. Right, right. And then um, some boilers, they have uh, probe type low water cutoffs or high alarms. Uh, so you might have a spare uh, probe or gasket um, for, for when you need to change those out. Because just like your igniters, these things can get sooted up and crudded up. And you need to make sure that these are clean and giving you accurate readings. So right. you may take these out from time to time. Just take a look at them. You may take some sandpaper to it, sand it off. But, you know, these things are very inexpensive. So you might as well have, you know, a couple of them sitting around. Sure. Okay. Well, appreciate it, Brian. Thanks for giving us a couple tips here. Time is money. And when the boiler's down, yeah, and no it's, production, no heat, whatever. And you got yeah. a scanner that, I mean, you, you could have that on the shelf and save tons of money because the boiler exactly. gets right All back these up components going. here are just a couple hundred bucks at the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of these components are 30 to $50. Right. And when that saves you, you know, whatever you're doing, having to have a service call or something like that, that's, that's major money in the bank. Okay. I appreciate the good tips. Well, whether you buy from BoilerWarehouse.com or anyone, make sure that you have some good spare parts in your boiler room, save you some time, some headache, and some money. We'll yeah. see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate you joining us and checking out our boiling points. How are you guys doing through all of this? I am sure that you guys are cranking along just like we are. Lots of differences um, that's happening, but uh, as a company, we are pulling together, and as a country, we can pull together. Just give you one little tip, make sure that you feed your faith, which will not feed fear. You can starve that fear out. So just make sure you feed the faith, meaning faith in people, faith in others to be able to do things. And also just like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos and stay healthy. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.